Welcome back to another Random Bits. Uh, in this one, we're going to have a look at how you can handle uh, different aspect ratios for your 2D Unity games. Uh, so for instance, I have this little uh, demo scene here, uh, which if I run, um, I can shoot the little duck targets and everything's all uh, very nice with all my uh, edge sprites all around the edge, all nicely lined up. However, if I were to change to a different resolution, perhaps that one has a different aspect ratio, you'll see that I've got pieces of my uh, design cut off. Or worst case, if I go to a portrait mode, I completely lose everything to uh, the left and the right. And that's because Unity uh, by default uh, does uh, it attempts to maintain the height of your design and chops off things at the, the width. Um, and this is not very useful for our 2D games, um, particularly if you have games that have um, edges that you need to preserve. For instance, if you were doing a breakout game and it had walls along the side. Um, luckily, there is a reasonably straightforward way to uh, fix this, and that is with an asset from the Asset Store. Uh, so if we go to the asset store and do a search for letterbox, we'll see this auto letterbox. It's a free asset out of the Unity store. Uh, we can select that and download and import that into our project. I'm not going to import the demos. Um, I'll leave the documentation and I'll import the other key components as well. All right, let me just give it a moment to import. Excellent. We'll return to our scene. Now, the first thing you'll notice is once you've imported it, is that there are a number of errors listed here. Uh, so, and a warning as well. And that's because this asset is um, built for a slightly older version of Unity, Unity 5, and I'm currently running Unity 2017.2. Uh, uh, so if we can double click on that. These are easy to fix. The first thing we need to do here is where it says util.lerp. We can just change that to math f. And same for the second error. All right. And uh, in terms of this warning here, where it says allow HDR instead, select that one over here. That's just because this attribute has changed from HDR to allow HDR, so that's easy to fix. Awesome. Now that we've fixed up the script, um, we shouldn't have any errors. Um, and what we now get is under our game object menu, there is a create false camera ratios object. And if we select that, we get um, a new game object added to our scene with this false camera ratio script attached to it. And this basically allows you to enforce the aspect ratio of your game. And what it will do is if your game, if the screen that you're currently displaying or running your game on doesn't match that aspect ratio, it will effectively add uh, letterboxes, uh, like black bars, like you see in movies when they're um, widescreen and don't quite fit on your TV. Um, so in my case, my game is set to a is a design for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'll leave that at 16 by 9. And we can now run the game. And we can see it's now added uh, some black bars to keep the game at that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if I was to select a different mode, the one I originally designed for, the original resolution, you can see that it's all nice and clean. Um, if I select another mode, once again, it's added some black bars. And if then I go and select, say, a portrait mode, you'll see that it adds black bars to keep the thing on the screen. So it just basically shrinks down the window. Probably not something you would generally do unless your game could work like this. Um, but you can see how it's busy keeping the game um, correctly sized by adding these black bars at the top and the bottom. Cool. So there's a, a bunch of options for this. Uh, firstly, you can change the uh, 
color of the bar. So instead of being black, we might make them say a blue. Um, or actually, let's pick a color, make it this orange color. So if we run that now, uh, we see we got orange bars. Let's do something more uh, in keeping. Something like that would work. Um, and you can actually see that there's a bunch of options here around um, not automatically creating a camera. And that allows you to define your own camera. And this particular asset will then allow you, for instance, to have a background uh, instead of just uh, a colored bars, you can actually put imagery and other things in the background. Um, so we can do that there. Now, once you run your game, you'll see you'll see that there is actually yet another warning that shows up um, when you run your game, and it talks about a tile GPU perf warning. Um, and this is because I'm running in um, Android or emulating Android. Um, the way that the camera uh, that gets created automatically by this asset um, is created in such a way that Unity is warning that it, the render texture it uses isn't being cleared, um, which means on a mobile device, it copies the previous version um, but instead of clearing it, and that apparently is a performance hit. Um, took me a while to figure out what's going wrong here, but basically if we jump back to the code, where we have this allow HDR equal to false, you can also add or also need to add allow box camera dot allow MSAA equal to false. Um, and now when you run the game, you'll no longer get those uh, warnings and you should um, get the right kind of performance that you're after. So uh, the other thing is there's a lot of other options um, and all of these can be found in the documentation folder. So if I just show that in Explorer and open this up, it's got some decent documentation here. It tells you how to set it up, standard usage, um, how you set up your own camera, and also other things you can do with the cameras if you need to, um, so that you can tweak it to exactly uh, the way you want it to work. All right, well, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, share it with others. And as always, thank you for watching.